This is Pai Mazadi, hope you're well. Um, I thought I'd talk to you about online forms and how online forms uh, have evolved and how they can be actually deceiving and sometimes why you would want to speak to a broker. Um, I was actually part of a team about 15 years ago, 15, 20 years ago now, that designed one of the first online mortgage forms end to end. So a user could go in there, uh, type in the data, source the mortgage and go on to application. Um, it was a system called Mortgage Linked. It was built by Network Data Limited, who I worked for as a designer. Uh, and I was, you know, I sat with a team of 30, 40 programmers back in the day and we designed this system. And uh, it was a very good system, however, while we were designing it, most of the people were on dial-up modem, so it didn't really take on. It was too soon for its time. And we've seen lots of online sort of systems, hybrid systems, online brokers, lenders doing things online, and that's all great. And I think there will be more and more of that happening, especially for and uh, maybe switching products with the existing lenders. We've seen a whole uh, emergence of new online mortgage brokers out there. So there's certainly a place there for it. And I, and I do see that sector sort of growing. Um, we've got an online form ourselves, for example. Um, um, but um, I can tell you now, uh, as a fact, some of the information that goes onto that online form, when you actually speak to the client, it's a completely different story. And what you often get is, you get the form completed, and then somebody will actually leave on the note, can I speak to you, Payam, because I need to speak to you about this, 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 this. So, Advice is always going to be a process when you're dealing with mortgages, hundreds of thousands of pounds of uh, money. So it's very, very important and clients still want that reassurance. Although you've got the mechanism of doing an online form, maybe uploading information, uh, scanning stuff, um, and that's all available. We've got that. However, there's always going to be a need because clients want to know um, how their income profile is going to be perceived by the lenders, what their debt ratio is going to be perceived by the lenders, What's the situation around their deposits maybe in regards to future circumstances, changes, I don't know, child maintenance, nursery fees, um, loans that they may have, the property types, for example. So all of those things are what I would say a conversation piece there that a, an average broker or a good broker will be having with their clients and finding out, look, what is the problem with the case? Why? Are we, what are we trying to achieve here? There's always a problem. It doesn't matter how much you earn, um, and that's really important. Doesn't matter how much you earn. Uh, doesn't matter how much you want to buy at. Everyone's pretty much got the same issues. Okay. So whether it's affordability, you may be earning three hundred thousand pounds, but you want to buy a two million pound property. So that's an affordability issue. It doesn't really matter whether you're earning twenty thousand pounds or want to buy a hundred thousand pound property. So all of those things are um, their sectors. Now, an online form can be clever enough to work some of those out, and that's great, and it will happen. But that reassurance factor, the fact that you're speaking to someone who's dealt with this case before, that knows what to do and knows what the lenders will perceive, how the lenders will perceive it, what their criteria are, that's vital. And having that advice is always going to be a part of a mortgage transaction, in my opinion, or should be, um, because that's where the advisor earns their money. That's how we earn our money, because you are essentially, if it was, the, if it was that easy, you just go to a comparison site, Source it, the best rate out there, oh, okay, I'll, I'll go with that. Um, but mortgages don't work like that. It's not like car insurance. It's not renewable every year, you know. So um, you've got to uh, understand what you're get, getting yourself into because it has some huge implications. You could lose your house. If you stop paying your mortgage or there's a problem or you're not protected or you haven't got the right type of plan, you could lose your house. So it's very, very important, uh, in my opinion, people still seek advice. I wouldn't say come to us, you know, I would say seek opinion of a broker uh, and different brokers have different fee models, different way they work. We've certainly got an online form. You can upload your documentations to our system. All of that's there, but nothing beats having a conversation and saying, look, this is the issue. Can you deal with it? Um, so that's a little bit around online forms. I hope you found it useful and I'll speak to you next time.